This video will go through how to set up a Stratix 5200 switch out of the box. I have reset this switch as if brand new. I've powered it on and connected a computer. Uh, one reason I've connected a computer is to verify when the switch is fully booted. When it's fully booted, the link light will flash green as it is showing now. To set up the Stratix switch, once communication is established and the switch is fully booted, unplug all the cables from the switch. Next, press the Express Setup button. You'll need a small object, like a paperclip, to push it. Press and hold the button until the setup light blinks, then release it. You'll notice one of the switch's link lights, such as Link 3, starting to blink. It may not always be Link 3, but connect your cable to the blinking port. Make sure your computer is set to DHCP. Once communication is established, you can proceed with the setup steps on your computer. Wait a moment for the connection to be established. If the setup LED flashes red when you press the Express Setup button, it indicates that a previous configuration exists on the switch. To reset it, perform a long reset by holding the Express Setup button until the setup LED alternates between red and green. Let's check if we've received an IP address from the switch. You can verify this in your network settings or by using command prompt and running ipconfig slash all. Look for the DHCP server's IP address. This is the IP address of the switch. If your network interface does not display an IP address or detect a DHCP server, double check your settings, disconnect all cables, and repeat the process by pressing the Express Setup button again. If your network interface shows a DHCP server address, enter it into a web browser. When the page loads, you'll see a security warning. Go ahead and bypass it. The default username is admin and the password is switch, S-W-I-T-C-H. We'll log in now. This may take a moment to load, but for those familiar with the 5700 series, it's much faster. This brings us to the initial setup page. The first step is to set a new password. Next, set the device name. I'll use Stratix 140 for this example. If you have an NTP server, enter its address here. If not, you can skip this step. Next, we'll configure the VLAN ID and IP address. If you use a VLAN other than one, set it accordingly. I'll use VLAN one for this example. The remaining settings don't necessarily require any changes. Notice the CIP settings below, which default to match the management VLAN. Once all settings are configured, proceed to the submit stage. You'll receive a reminder to access the switch using its new IP address. At this point, my computer's network interface is showing an identifying state because it's no longer receiving an IP address from the switch. I'll need to set a static IP address manually. Let's verify if the switch has taken the new IP address by pinging it. It looks like it has, so I'll enter the new address into my browser. I'll refresh the browser and it should load correctly. The username remains admin and the password is the one I set during Express Setup. Now that the Express Setup is complete, we're almost done. One of the most important steps is to set up smart ports. Go to Configuration, then under Layer 2, select Smart Ports. I'll set the two combo ports to Switch for Automation. This setting should be used for any ports connecting to another switch. Use the Multi-Port Configuration option, select Switch for Automation, and ensure the native VLAN is set to your designated native VLAN. It's crucial that all switches in your network share the same native VLAN. Next, we'll configure the remaining ports. Unless you know the specific purpose for each port, I recommend using the multi-port automation device configuration. This is the least restrictive setting. Note that if you configure the port your computer is connected to, you might receive a warning about losing communication. However, since we aren't changing the VLAN or other critical settings, you won't lose communication. Just make sure the access VLAN is set to the appropriate VLAN. In the Stratix 5200, changes are not automatically saved, so be sure to press the Save button whenever you make changes. Otherwise, your settings will be lost on a power cycle. And that's it. Your Stratix switch is now configured with all the necessary settings.